Princess Casserole here and I am here with a haul video. This is actually a haul from a church bazaar that I went to um, pretty recently and I, I got some pretty nice things and the prices were pretty low. I, I do apologize because I can't remember how much I paid for these um, things for the most part because you had to pay at each at each section and there were a lot of different sections so I just I couldn't remember <laughs> a lot of things were like three for a dollar um, the earrings were five for a dollar necklaces on um, some of them were three for a dollar um, I think the rings were a quarter um, so that's my best <laughs> my best remembrance and there are some special things that were a little bit more so um, let's get started so this was two dollars I believe so this is actually sterling silver I apologize for the lighting in here um, this was two dollars sterling silver and it is actually a Waterford crystal it is a Waterford crystal cross necklace it is very beautiful and it's got quite quite a long chain to it um so that's what the chain looks like and um again that one was two dollars the most i paid for anything was four dollars um, it's a good thing i'm doing this now i suppose because i do remember some of the prices so um, I also got this bangle bracelet. I think the bracelets might have been three, four dollar. Um, this is one of those really heavy, um, and it is signed Monet, and it is the machine etched. And this is not one of the cheap ones. It's one of the nice expensive Monet bangle bracelets. I always pick those up when I see them. I just really like them. Um, so the three for the dollar. I also got this one. And I accidentally rubbed some of it off of the silver silver cloth. Don't do that on the very <laughs> cold because it will take it off. Lesson learned. Um, it doesn't look terrible. but And it's, you know, not real or anything anyway. But three for a dollar it's not the hugest deal um but I thought it was pretty you know it's one of those reproductions to look like an older bracelet so I just sometimes you have to <laughs> you have to get three because otherwise it's like you're paying 50 cents for one and then I have seen these in you know the pendants a lot I get those all the time in jewelry bags that I get but I've never really seen um a bracelet and it does fit my wrist pretty well and which is a good thing because obviously if it doesn't fit your wrist there is no making it fit your wrist but it's got some of the dichroic glass and this is a really pretty one I thought I like the colors, green, blue. Um, let's see. I I do have some of the tags. Let's see, it's Waterford Cross, Sterling, two dollars. Um, and let's see. This one was a dollar. So this is one of those nineteen twenty eight. Um, necklaces and I've heard they they do sell for people all right and um, I thought this was really neat because these are all lockets and it spins so you can put three pictures on here and the 1928 they're always made to look kind of um, vintage and this one, 
they're really well made from what I, I've seen, the 1928 jewelry. It's not, not cheap. So this I thought was very nice. So that one, again, was, was a dollar for that. Um, I think roaches might have been these ones, three for a dollar. So I did get this one. I saw this. It was one of the first places I went because people scattered everywhere when they opened up the doors. So I just went somewhere where people weren't at so I could, you know, get first dibs on things. And this is signed um, there. It says Sterling and Germany. So I thought the filigree type work on here. I thought it was very pretty. Um, if you hear noises, they're teenagers. You know, they can't, can't keep quiet. I think it is impossible. Um, I also found this one. This one has like a little bit of here. There's, you know, where it looks like maybe at one time it was bent and here too, but it's not too bad. It looks like an A. I don't know if it's just a design or if it's supposed to look like an A. Um, but this one is the same. It is Sterling and Germany. So, um, maybe I should find a, a C <laughs> so I can get an A with it. But again, I don't, I don't know how many people would, would assume that that's an A. And then I also got this beautiful mosaic. Uh, I thought this one was very nicely framed. None of the little pieces are missing. It's kind of amazing the great shape that these are in sometimes for their age. Not, nothing missing. And also, like, I go like that because sometimes the pieces, even if they're not missing, they can be raised or, like, falling out, but they are not. And this one has kind of like a modified C-class. So, it's, you know, not like the Art Deco brooches that I have or anything, but. So, for three for a dollar, I thought that one, that was worth it. Um, the most expensive thing that I got was this. And this is 12K gold filled. Onyx, $4. So I, th I think they must have taken some of the things that they thought were nicer to a jeweler. Um, this one, it was marked 120, 12K gold filled. And it looks like a CC. So I don't know, I haven't done the research yet, so I apologize to see what that is, but it does have the little safety chain with this, and then this beautiful onyx stones. So I thought that was really nice. I couldn't really pass it up. Again, it was, it was $4, so... That's definitely something if I was at Savers or somewhere not not a church bazaar where you're expecting things to be dirt cheap, um, which they were, I would have gladly paid that amount for. So when I'm there, I always look for some of the guy things. I did end up getting my husband a cat brooch, <laughs> but I gave it to him already. So that one I'm not going to show. Um, this stone is pretty dark on this one. But I thought these looked kind of 1950s. Um, and 
I think this one is marked A N S O N Anson. Um, I have not heard of that brand before, but it's the regular kind of cufflinks there. But it's like the Atomic Burst, you know, like Super 50s. And this one too, actually, this next one. Um, and they look different. But it's like a confetti, confetti lucite, I would say, perhaps. Um, trying to see this one. I don't think those ones were marked. So that's what those ones look like. Those are like the cat's pajamas. They are very nice. Um, so I did end up getting some other other brooches I'm not sure what this stone is if it's jade jadeite or um oh there's another one that's adventurine I think is uh, a name of the other thing that it could be but it's kind of really nicely carved um, leaf brooch and then they also had these beautiful mother of pearl um, sashes I don't know if they were um, perhaps shoe <laughs> what am I thinking of shoe um, buckles something like that um, one of the other things I got and that is all it's all tangled but it's a beautiful opal and it's just kind of funny because oh, it's upside down it is marked Carla and the same way I spell my name. And it is 12 karat gold filled. It is very dainty and beautiful and it has my name. So I, I did I quite like it. I did not notice that until after I bought it. Um, there were a couple pendants that I bought and this one is somewhat cold to the touch. It's not marked at all, but I, I think it is silver. It was tarnished. I cleaned some of the tarnish off. Um, it could be a clear quartz. I'm not sure what it is. It's heavy. Um, this other one it is marked. But I have no idea. I can't really read it or see it. I would have thought this one was silver too, but it is not marked anywhere. I looked it up and down other than there, but it doesn't say 925 on it anywhere. Uh, this one, I think I did pay $2 for this one. This is silver. Uh, I think it just says sterling. And then it's got some little mark down there. My eyes are failing me. I don't know if it's maybe CZ or what. And then there was this little witch riding a broom with a heart underneath pin and uh, I love Halloween anything anything kind of Halloweeny so I grabbed that one 
And again, you had to pay at each thing, so I ended up having <laughs> so many different little bags everywhere. It, it was driving me crazy. Um, and then there were these. I remember some, I used to see these everywhere, so it's meant to look kind of like the Harley Davidson. Um, I can't, I, I don't think this one's marked silver. I don't know if it is or not. Um, again, it was a quarter. And then there's this one. This one, I believe. Yeah, it was marked sterling. On it. And the stone, you can't really tell. But it's it's red. And then I also got this one, and this one, I think it was gold filled, 18 karat gold filled, I believe. There you can see it, GF. Um, but I thought that was, oops, really pretty with the flower. Uh, just a couple other things. I think one of the ladies, uh, Eleanor, I think she did end up finding gold in there. Um, I did not. So then there's this. Again, if anyone knows how old these are, the clasps like this, let me know. And this was like a little fan with the guy in the fan, or the lady in the fan. It's probably a lady. And it's set in with prongs. There's no markings or anything on it. But I liked it, so I grabbed it. And this one's not marked gold filled or anything, but I, I don't know. I thought it looked nice. So I grabbed this one because again, I wanted this Carla necklace. So I had to grab three other ones to make it worth it. <laughs> so you kind of scrounge sometimes oh and because of one of one of the ones I got I did grab just a chain bracelet it says NR and Avon I don't know who NR is but I'm sure they did it was a de designer who did a collaboration and then there was this one that says India Again, I just, I had to grab something because cause it was like three for a dollar. Um, and then I grabbed these earrings. They're pretty big. Color is really pretty with the white, the brown, and the blue. I thought that was an interesting color combination, so I grabbed it. Um, I think there's a little chip on one of them, but it's really, it's not noticeable. I love these. I thought they were super, like, you know, 70s with the checkered print. Kind of like a taxi cab star. I thought those were rather fun. Nope. And... This one came off, so I'm going to have to fix that. that up. That's an easy fix. And then there's these. But again, I thought those ones will be fun for Pride. I usually do march in the Pride Parade with my, with my work every year. Um, cause I do have a couple friends who I meet out there 
every year. And I, you know, I was in one of my friend's weddings, which was lovely. So these were three for a dollar. And there were these ones. Again, I'm not sure what that stone is. It is cold. And these. It's marked Sarah. Sarah Kov. It's like the little filigree with the pearl. Almost done. These haul videos are thankfully a lot shorter than... <laughs> the unjarring so so there were these little purple studs which I I believe I found that they were marked 925 and so were these and whoa <laughs> It's not an earthquake, folks, I swear. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, I thought these were pretty. These are marked 925. I thought those were interesting, the, like, shape. These are also marked silver. I'm not sure if they actually are. They're not really well made. You know, they can mark things sometimes, just like they mark things. Tiffany, I never get excited when I see something marked Tiffany. Like, it would look, it would look expensive if it was real. So don't get too excited unless something, like, looks real. It's the silver you would expect and, you know... So there were these. These are not marked. But they have, you know, marker sites and they're very pretty. There were earrings that um they're not a pair. I can't remember. If I don't think these are earrings. They have like a really sharp point to them. But it looks like a real pearl to me. And I think I think I there was a mark on here. Can't remember if it was like nine two five or something. And uh And there were these like box ones. And then just some I got that I thought that they might be gold, but they are not. So, again, it was like $2 to get in. Two, $2.50? I think it was two fifty dollars actually. Um, but you got a donut, and you got coffee or juice. Um, and... There really weren't, weren't a lot of people there, so it wasn't it wasn't bad. I didn't have to like, <laughs> you know, fight with anyone. Everyone was very respectful, so it was a very nice sale to go to, and I, I got some nice things. So no real gold, but I'm not disappointed. So everything that I got, I think, was definitely <laughs> over, oh, well over what what um you know, it's worth. So thank you very much for spending this time with me. Please comment below, like the video, subscribe, please. Um, I'm getting up there. I'd love to have 200 subscribers before the end of the year. That would just be really amazing. But even if it's not, I love all of the subscribers that I get and the interaction and the comments that you guys leave and the questions. It's it's a lot of fun. 
and I enjoyed doing this. So now I can put all of these things away and my husband won't want to murder me anymore because I have a whole bunch of jewelry on the kitchen table where we can't eat anymore. Um, so I will see you in my next video. And this is Princess Casserole signing off. Have a beautiful day and I will see you again. Bye.